Hello and welcome back to Man of the Ants Plays Dread Halls. So, let's continue the game. So we managed to make it to the second kind of central area with the three plinths for the eyeballs. We found one at the beginning and we went through that door over there and sorted that out. And then we got a second eyeball whilst we were in there, which opened up this gate over here. Hopefully, once we get that eyeball, we'll go through there and that'll be it. And then I won't have to play Dread Halls again. Because whilst I'm sure there are people who do enjoy this kind of experience, I'm not sure it's entirely for me. I just feel that like I've started now, so I don't really have any other option but to continue. Other than that, it will be something I do obviously inflict on my friends when they try out the rift. That will definitely be something that happens. So we started right at the top of the map. It's a big old corridor, isn't it? Um... No, we'll stick with the right. Right's done us proud so far. the little one I mean I guess so like I said last time what's the worst that could happen he says just as a man starts screaming in terror it definitely sound like there's something in there didn't it that's just a shadow the door shadow freaked me out a little bit okay so hopefully a nice safe room Although we did come across one of these which did have some sort of crazy stalking monster going through it, which wasn't... It wasn't what I'd describe as safe. We've got a bit of oil. We've got two oils. That's always nice. The eyes are a sacrifice. Of course. Now I understand. There's power in sacrifice. We always knew that. Did we now? So I guess I should walk in between these. There's normally a... Uh, oh, there's a pillar there. I didn't even see it. Was it there before? Jesus, blimey Mary and Joseph and all of those people. That was a terrifying sound. I'm going to run in between those because there's no way I trust those. Although they've yet to steer me wrong. There's that sound again. I just do not like very much. We seem to be okay. Although there is a bit of a uh, terrifying note joining the music, and now it's gone quiet. Haven't decided if we like the quiet yet or not. Okay then. So no scary moment as of yet. Could be good, could be bad. All I want to do is find this eyeball and get out of here. Now my cat has started wailing in the background. Obviously he's aware of just how uh, terrified I am and he's telling me to stop, stop this madness. If I go right, that's just going to take me back up to where I started, isn't it? I don't really want to do that, so we'll go left here. Good, good. That's a good sound. Why aren't you... There we go. There's nothing in here. That doesn't mean when I turn around there won't be anything, but we seem to be pretty safe. Okay. Wow, he really is going for it. 
I know from experience you probably cannot <laughs> cannot hear him in the background wailing away but he is going for it wow it is getting towards uh, tea time for him I guess so that could be oh blimey wah, 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 wah. could be what he's getting at I just have to finish this as quick as possible. Just for his benefit, obviously. Not for... Uh, not for mine. Because obviously I'm 100% fine with this. 100% fine with this. Oh, he could do this all day. All terrifying day. Now he's just running around like a madman. That's the cat, obviously, not me. I'm creeping around like a terrifying little person that I am. Oh, blimey, that cat is going mental today. Yes, I hear you. I hear you, I do. Everyone else can probably hear you as well. Because you won't shut up. Sort of statue lady. Hello. We demand payment. You may have your payment. Uh who she is. We are beholders. We are listeners. We hold the memories of this place alive in the absence of our creators. We watch and we remember. Pretty sure I heard a smoke monster appear behind me. Apparently I was wrong. So again, I'm not sure if that's a good thing. I'd rather um, go to recognize the sounds. We will take this moment to pump up the oil in our lantern. If we're lucky, maybe down here will be the eyeball? No, we are not that lucky. So we have uncovered a fair bit of this map now. Oh my god. Oh god, I didn't start the timer. Bear with me one moment, whilst I just sneak over to my phone. So I have no idea how long I have been doing this. Jesus. When I was looking away. When I was looking away, that's not fair. Okay, there's another one, but that's fine. I'm not entirely convinced they can hurt me. I'm not going to find out at this stage, because I've gone through most of this map. Go on, disappear. Stop doing your freaky thing. Cat's nuzzing up against me, because he knows how um, well I'm dealing with this. Is that her? No, that's still a smoke monster. Go on, start, start sneaking away. Melt back into your puddle. Oh god, this room. So I've definitely been through a room like this before in one of the previous maps. And shortly after I went through the room, I ran across the scary lady, who proceeded to chase me, even though I barely even looked at her. But it doesn't look the same, so I think we're okay. An ear-piercing scream suddenly filled the dungeon whilst I was sleeping. It took me a few seconds to realise it was my own. Whereas I've been well aware that I've been screaming. I'm not screaming, but... Uh, reacting poorly, perhaps, to the uh, in-game stimulus. 
I think this is the most we've actually managed to uncover of any of the maps. Is this a little room? This is a little room. Lady or eyeball? Lady or eyeball? Eyeball. Nice. Monies? Money, money, money. Eyeball. So that's the last eyeball for this location. So what does that mean? Does that mean we are getting relatively close? Let's find out. No, it doesn't, does it? It's going to give us another area to deal with. Scary underground cavern filled with, like, smoky, misty stuff. Perfect. Oh god, I don't know how long I can do this for. How much more of this game can I handle? That is the terrifying question I have to ask myself. I'm going to have to open them. Two little side doors. Ooh, statue lady. Oil. And a note. I sat down and turned off my lamp once more. But this time, the shadow folk came to me. I didn't run, I raised my gaze and moved to touch them, and then they blended with me. Agony, freedom, despair, understanding. Okay. So, don't... When you come across the shadow folk, turn off your light and move towards them? Hello, lady. Touching your nose. Touching your nose. Why did you wake us? Uh, to ask you something. Um... Her sisters. We are one of many faces, but a single voice. Good. Good. Glad I asked you that. Nice, interesting question. Nothing in there. Okay. Lots more smoke and mist. Big room or big ish? And a plinth with an eyeball on, suggesting that I'm going to have to do more eyeball hunting. Good. 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 Cannot say that was high on my list of things I wanted to do. Why are you closed? How do I open you? That chain? That chain. Some bones? Which have yet to scare us, so I'm okay with bones. Maybe, I'll walk to the end of this, there'll be a jump scare. And then there'll be one plinth, and I'll put the eyeball on it, and I get to run away. No. Ah, oh, bugger. Ah, buggerin', buggerin', bugger. Okay. I mean, well, this has got to be the last set, right? Surely. So let's open that one over there. Well, I am going to stop there. The last one was a fairly long trek through the uh, through the map. I don't think it's a particularly long video. Maybe only sort of like it's hard to tell because obviously I forgot my timer because I'm a pullock. So maybe maybe twelve minutes, something like that, if I had to guess. But I think that's enough. I think that's enough for me for today. A nice short video doesn't hurt. People do seem to say that uh, around fifteen minutes is what you should be aiming for. It's not really what I ever hit, but it's what you should be aiming for. So there we go. Hope you enjoyed that. As always, can't say I particularly did, but there we go. If you did enjoy, do click the like or subscribe buttons. It'd be very much appreciated. Should have turned my lamp off. As always. If you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, do leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I see them. 
Otherwise, I will see you next time in Dread Halls. Thank you very much for joining me.